All right, question number 10 on homework number two from January 21st. Here's a brief explanation on why some of you might not be getting the answer that Canvas is saying, or My Open Math is saying. Again, this is number 10 on homework number two from January 21st. The picture is drawn like this with a 23 degree angle. Angle A, 17, and 23. If I set up the law of sines, let's see, if I go 17 over the sine of 23 because, <clears throat> see, the, the 23 is across from the 17, so those two numbers make a fraction. And then we're looking for angle A. So angle A is across from the side that's measuring 23. And we'll use this proportion, these two fractions, to figure out what angle A is. Well, if I cross multiply, let's see, so 17 sine A equals 23 sine 23. And again, I'm looking for A, so I'm going to divide both sides by 17. Okay, to get A by itself, we need to get rid of the sign next to it. So our A is in the sign. We need to get it out. By, we're going to do that by doing the inverse sign on both sides of the equation. So the measure of angle A will equal the sine inverse of 23 sine 23 over 17. And we plug that into our calculator, and we get that the sine, or not the sine, the measure of angle A is equal to, my calculator says, 31.9133567. Which is not what my open math is saying. My open math is saying that the measure of angle A is equal to 148.0866. And here's why they're saying that. If you look at the picture, and I know it says the picture is not drawn to scale, but the picture shows that angle A is an obtuse angle. And what this, what this is, is I accidentally assigned a problem I hadn't taught you guys yet. This is called the ambiguous case for law of signs. With the ambiguous case, and this happens when you have a triangle with side-side angle. We have side 17, side 23, and an angle that's 20, 23 degrees. Side, side, angle. <clears throat> you can come across what's called the ambiguous case, where this, this third side is un, unsure, and the, the side with the 17 because we don't know this angle up here, there's two possible possible cases that that could happen with the, our angle um, up above. It can it can pivot. It can go and make an an obtuse obtuse angle, or you can come over here and make an acute angle. Turns out that the uh, two angles, the obtuse and acute angles, will add up to 180 because, uh, you know, let's see, if I call this angle X here and angle X here, those two angles would end up being equal, and angle Y here would be supplementary to it. So with the ambiguous case, you get two, two possible answers that are supplementary. They both add up to 180. So if I take the measurement, the 31.9 degree measurement, and subtract it from 180, I get the other 
possibility for this ambiguous case, which is 148.0866. And so that, that's what's happening here, is it's the ambiguous case. Um, and then again, there, because, <clears throat> because of this, there's two possibilities for X as well depending on whether or not we're using the obtuse or acute angle for angle A, that will change your answer for, a, for the side that has the X on it. Um, since we're going with the obtuse angle uh, for angle A, the 100, 148 degree measurement, use that to find X.